Hello and welcome to another episode of Forge Talks, the brand new video series from Forge Rock. Most of you watching probably assume that I am the CEO of Forge Rock. However, it may surprise you to know that I'm not Forge Rock's CEO. I am, however, joined today by someone who is Fran Roche. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Fraser. Thanks so much for having me. So, Fran, we've been having a lot of conversations, not just you and me, but kind of within the company, um, a lot of conversations about digital identity innovation. But for the purpose of this episode, we're going to jump into the shoes of our customers. Now, Forge Rock has long uh, prioritized customer feedback since the very, very early days. And Fran, you recently met virtually with our customer advisory board, right? So I was wondering if you could tell me a little bit about how that went and what you're learning. Yeah, it was great to have our customer advisory board. And uh, we had a chance to get some feedback from about 30 of our customers uh, across Europe, uh, North America, and APJ. Um, and it was really an inspiring conversation in a lot of ways because, you know, I think as we watch the news, we see the amazing heroic work of our frontline healthcare workers, the doctors, the nurses that are out there really helping people fight and recover from COVID-19. Well, there's really a whole behind the scenes set of heroes that we don't really see. And those are our customers. Um, you know, those are our customers who are uh, keeping websites up and running, uh, uh, facilitating people working from home, allowing us to do online banking, online healthcare, uh, you know, online learning. And, you know, that's what our customers are really stepping up to do. Um, and at Forge Rock, we're helping them do that um, as our mission uh, is to help users simply and safely access the connected world. Um, it's really become more important than ever. So it was really inspiring to see. And obviously, you know, it, it's circumstances have made that difficult. Um, you know, our customers were in the middle of stepping up and delivering and boom, they all had to work from home. Um, and they were seeing these really increased loads of traffic on their systems. So they had to step up uh, and deliver. And also, unfortunately, uh, we have a set of fraudsters and cyber criminals that look at this as an opportunity to take advantage of people and steal money or identities. So our customers had to step up and fight that. Uh, and we were able to help them with our platform uh, through the implementation of better security and authentication controls, make it easy for all of us to access things digitally uh, while also keeping ourselves safe. So it was really inspiring conversation with our customers. Yeah, that's great. And digital, uh, like I said, digital experience seems to be really top of mind uh, with everyone at the moment. Did you hear anything from our customers that really surprised you? Yeah, I, I guess what I heard was that, you know, we all think that, you know, with this pandemic, things might be slowing down. Um, projects might be slowing down. Investments are slowing down. But what we heard in this case, it's just the opposite. Um, that as demands on these systems have increased, projects have to accelerate. Um, you know, by and large, most of our customers had these digital transformation projects underway, um, but are really are accelerating this work. Uh, and, you know, we all at big companies have to deal with some red tape and bureaucracy. They feel kind of free because a lot of that has been removed uh, in an effort for them to really accelerate these projects. And, you know, we had a, a, a lot of different customers representing many different industries, financial services, public sector, healthcare, automotive, you know, everybody's moving this direction. But what was really powerful to me is we had one of our customers who represents a very large school district in Australia. And, you know, the whole move to remote learning has just been so fast uh, and required people, you know, to adapt to this world new quickly. And again, identity sits at the heart of that. And if we're going to make remote learning successful, as we have to, we have to make it easy for students and teachers to log on and connect. Um, and our technology and our customers are really helping make that happen. So uh, that was really cool to hear. Yeah. Yeah, it's such a good point. It's funny that speaking to you and, and speaking to some other guys, uh, some of the other people I've spoken to, just hearing these new ways of using identity that have sprung out of the, the current situation. Obviously, we're it, you know it's a terrible situation that we're in, but we're seeing some really interesting things coming out of that. Um, so AI is a huge technology trend. Um, that hasn't really taken root yet in the identity space, but it's a major push at Forge Rock uh, right now. What kind of response did you get um, 
in regards to AI and you know the prom the promise of AI. And are there any problems that people are seeing um, that would be ripe for this kind of solution? Yes, I think you know we all talk about AI and ML becoming a little bit of a buzzword. And what I would say is AI and ML is not a, it's not a solution in itself. It's helping to solve a problem. It's a tool. So it's important to understand what problem are we trying to solve with this tool. And you know, the problem we're trying to solve is really this balance between great digital experiences while st still protecting security, compliance, and privacy. It's an age-old problem. So this is a new tool to help solve that problem. Because ultimately, what is a great digital experience? As a user, you want to be able to access frictionlessly, really easy, get access to what you need with as few barriers as possible. At the same time, if you're a criminal or a fraudster, we want to actually block your access um, and stop you. So what you need is a really smart system that can quickly recognize the difference. Who is a good person? Who is a legitimate user? Let them in super fast. Who is a fraudster and block them? And the way to be able to really do that is through a lot of data. We all leave an exhaust of our digital footprints. Um, and through AI and ML, we can really very quickly and very accurately recognizes, recognize those good guys, let them in, eliminate the username, eliminate the password, really quick access uh, to the applications and files accounts you need while being smart enough to recognize the bad guy who's trying to impersonate a good guy and block them out. So that's what AI is really solving. And the advancements that we've made as a company are really helping uh, our customers, you know, quickly recognize the good guys, let them in really fast and, and block, um, you know, block the bad guys. So our customers, of course, are, are uh, using it today and are very happy with it and are looking for further advancements uh, in that area. Because in the end, identity is really about decision making. Do I know who you are? Do I trust you? Should you get access to this application or file? And you, you need to make those decisions in a microsecond, which means you need a really smart platform. And AI makes the Fordrop platform even smarter. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Really exciting stuff. And guys, if you want to know more about that, uh, there is going to be another Forge Talk episode coming where we have Peter Barker come back and talk to us in uh, way more depth about um, our autonomous identity solution. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, Fram, we like to say, well, you in particular, I've heard say feedback is a gift. So what can customers and partners expect from Forge Rock in the next 12 months as a result of what you're hearing? Sure. I mean, I think that, you know, we kind of look at, you know, three real focus areas for us that our customers can, can expect. More innovation uh, into our core platform, continued advancement in our cloud services, and our efforts to get closer to our customer through greater investments in our customer success and go-to-market organization. So those are the three big areas. The first one, really, that increased innovation. That's a lot about what we were talking about. That's a lot of uh, increased innovation in AI and ML to make the systems smarter. There are a lot of other functionality we're bringing out, things around you know, further advancements in uh, uh, passwordless authentication, uh, online identity proofing. So a lot more innovation on the core platform. The second area in the cloud, fordrock has been on a cloud journey for several years now. Um, we have you know, full cloud offerings in the market today, but we're going to continue to advance uh, our cloud services and make it really easy and fast for our customers to get up and deployed. And then third, really around that customer success, working very closely with our customers and our partners uh, to ensure that the technology can be deployed quickly and easily, solving customer problems very quickly, shortening that time to value. Um, so those are kind of the three areas uh, that we talked about and where our customers can expect for us to invest in uh, in the coming months and years. Awesome. Yeah, it's been it's been great, Fran, to hear kind of the results of these conversations you're having with our customers. Um, any final thoughts from you? Well, I guess, you know, final thoughts is, is you know, it was great to meet with our customers and, and at the cab and we're always meeting with our customers. So I guess I would just like to extend a thanks uh, to our customers, to our partners, to our vendors, and certainly to our Forge Rockers who are all staying focused um, you know, on solving these customer problems through this really difficult time. Um, it is, as, as we hear all the time, unprecedented. I certainly look forward to you know, getting back to some semblance of normal 
and certainly I'm a people person. So I look forward to getting back and, you know, spending more time with people face to face. Uh, but uh, we're excited about our progress and we're just going to keep moving forward. So, uh, but thank you very much, Fraser, for having me here at Forge Talk. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for your time, Fran. That was really great to, to catch up and chat through those things with you. Uh, and everyone, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to check out the next episode and we'll see you next time. Bye.